Guys, I need to be honest with you. Um. So the best thing that I've learned is that if you want something, go for it. If you love doing something, just do it. I mean, we spend the majority of our time just sitting in the couch and just watching how life passes by in front of us and we're not doing anything but then complaining about our future, complaining about how we're not doing anything that really reach us. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say that it's not that simple. I know it's not that simple and you just have to work really really hard to go and get what you want and to get where you want to be in life and yeah it's not simple it's so difficult but we just have to make small changes day by day step by step taking baby steps each day you're not going to see results from day to night because that's not gonna happen you just have to work really hard for it relationships are going to fail and they are going to hurt so much so so much but you know it's going to be okay eventually it's not the end of the world and I know you're going to be upset with that person but you know life doesn't end if that person doesn't know how to value you doesn't know the great person you are and you know sometimes you just got to let that person go and you know follow another path and you find other amazing persons that will love you how you really are and it's going to be okay it's not the end of the world and let the person go and everything will be okay your major in college probably won't matter in your future um this is so true I'm studying journalism and audiovisual communication, but I also love design. I'm not picturing myself in front of the computer and writing news because that's something that I won't feel comfortable with and I need creativity in my life. So some of you will start something that you probably like. But then you'll find something in life that will complete you inside. I'm not saying that you shouldn't study, plus uh, all the knowledge you get in college will help you in the future. But just don't stress yourself, don't make it a big deal and just relax yourself and see what happens because life is just a challenge. Life goes faster as years pass by and this is so true. I remember when I was little that a year seemed like an eternity and now when you're an adult and see that a year is just nothing. I remember when my friend went to study abroad, she's a st is still studying abroad and I remember saying to each other it's six months, it's like, it's like half a year without seeing each other, how we're going to do this? It's, it's been two months now and I feel like it was yesterday when I was just with her talking about this with her. So time just goes by pretty fast, so just make the most of it. Number five, invest in clothes that will last forever. There's some item of clothing that they're, they're always going to be wearable, so just invest in clothes that you're going to wear now and you're going to wear in 10 years. Fashion comes and goes so quickly and you're going to buy uh, tons of things that you're not going to wear in a year. I'm telling you so. Think about if it's worth spending your money on that item of clothing or not. Start saving your money. <laughs> you know, now in your 20s, you will want to travel, you will want to move out from your home and live by your own and yeah, you've got to pay the bills, you've got to buy groceries, you've got to do 
like tons of things that you didn't have to do before so yeah start saving your money the next thing that I've learned is putting yourself first I know some people like me for example like to help others and I feel good when I help someone but sometimes you just got to put yourself first because if you don't put yourself first who's going to do it for yourself? no one this is getting cold by the way I'm talking too much and this is getting cold it's okay to help people as I said before but you know if you have to do like tons of things for yourself just don't do it it's okay remember that you just have to put yourself first and another thing that is very related to uh, putting yourself first is that it's okay to say no sometimes it's okay to say no because people will take advantage of you and sometimes you just got to learn how to say no another thing that I've learned is that being alone is healthy and it's going to be good for you sometimes people confuse being lonely with being alone and you know being alone doesn't have to be that you're lonely it means that you like to spend time for yourself and you like to take care of yourself just have some me time you will learn things about yourself that you didn't know before and it's going to be amazing so number 10 is quality over quantity i rather have like two or three two friendships than tons of people that are not worth it with the time you're going to find who those two people are and it will suck it sucks <laughs> it sucks to be honest but as i said before eventually it's going to be okay surround yourself with people that you enjoy spending time with and that will make time for you you are your best friend or your worst enemy you choose we are the ones that are going to spend more time with ourselves so uh, we need to choose if we want to be our best friends or our worst enemies sometimes we're in a bad mood and it's okay to think things that we're going to laugh <laughs> a lot afterwards but not always we need to love ourselves how we are we need to accept ourselves and be okay with it with all our flaws with all our virtues and accept us how we are if you don't love yourself who's gonna do it for you there's always time i know this is a tricky sentence but let's be honest there's always time how many times have we said i don't have time to go to the gym i don't have time to do this i don't have time to you know take care of me come on there's always time I stop doing things that are wasting your time and I spend that time doing the things that you should do number 13 failure is okay failure is not your enemy instead it's your best friend failure is going to teach you how things works and if you're doing okay if you're doing wrong Failure will teach you what you did wrong and how to correct it. Stop thinking about failure as something negative and start thinking about it as something positive, as something that is good for you and it will help you so much. Being quiet is not the answer. Always stop. And for example, if a friend has done something that has bothered you so much, just talk with that friend and fix it. If there's something about you that is bothering you, talk with a friend, for example, or with family, because you know, holding here inside you is making you nervous, it's making you being like really stressed, and it's not okay to feel like that. So, always stop. Another thing that I've learned is that people will have envy and just accept it, people will criticize you no matter what. People will say things about you just because they're jealous, they envy you, they envy what you're doing, how pretty you are, how you get along with someone, they always have envy. And just accept it, it's, it's natural. You will always have envy as well, so just accept that people will envy you 
and just don't care about it. Go with your thing, don't stop doing something because someone is criticizing you, that means you're doing well, so accept that you're going to be envied. Another thing is that forgiveness is for yourself, remember that. Forgiveness is for yourself and not for the other person. It's a way to feel better with yourself. I accept your apology, but I won't forget what you did to me. Family will always be there for you, so you always be there for them. Before we think in a formula that, well, okay, it's my family and they're going to be there, but in your 20s, you're going to need them and they're going to need you and they're always going to support you no matter what, be there for you whenever you need them. So just do the same for them and really appreciate their time. Another business advice is that you always have a no. So what are you losing for asking maybe for a raise, for doing something that you really want and maybe you think it's good for your company? Just ask, you already have a no, so what are you going to lose? Nothing. It's good to get out of your comfort zone and it's going to feel amazing. We're all humans and humans are afraid of millions of things. But sometimes we need to step forward and leave all of our fears behind. There's something that you really want to do but you've never done because of fear, because you're afraid of something. Just don't think it twice and do it. If you don't do it, you're gonna lose that experience. And last but not least, be always grateful to your family, to friends. Always a thank you. Don't take anything for granted and just enjoy life and be always grateful. So this video was a little bit different. Hope you didn't get bored. I really wanted to talk to you about you know my inner thoughts, not doing always like beauty videos or fashion videos and I really want to make a connection with you guys and I want you to know that I'm here if you ever need something and yeah, I hope you liked this video, please, if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below as well, I will answer your questions or and your comments or anything and yeah, also I hope you find this video helpful and yes, comment down below if you've experienced anything of what I've said in the video by the way, my coffee got cold I can't help it, I just can't stop talking and yeah, and that's it, really yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I can see you in the next one, bye!